Right, so I haven't done a vlog for a long while now, it's about a week. So uh, yeah, I thought I'd do an update. Basically, it's about half ten now, and I've just finished um, doing a tandem, uh, Spanish tandem. So basically you go uh, to a place, like a cafe or bar, and basically you spend about an hour speaking English, and an hour speaking Spanish. And the point is it's free, but obviously uh, half time you're speaking, basically so there's English people and Spanish people there, so it's basically like an interchange, intercambio, that's what it's called. And it's really useful for like real life um, experience of learning another language. So especially between like English and Spanish. So I spent the last two hours there, so that, that was really fun. Get to meet uh, people with different nationalities, like German, there's a Dutch person there. And uh, yeah, just like with native speakers, so it's the best way of learning it. But it's literally so intensive, like having to learn it. But uh, yeah, it's decent. Now. So I can gradually feel my Spanish getting more fluent and having to think less about how to pronounce different uh, tenses or how to use different tenses. So yeah, it's gradually getting there, but it's so gradual progression that for me, it's only just noticeable now. And I've been here since early September. So it's now, what, 22nd of October, I think? So yeah, it's taken a while so far to get back into it. But I feel like it still takes a hell of a lot of mental effort to think in Spanish and to like, convert everything I'm saying but uh, yeah, I can hold a conversation and express my feelings and that in Spanish, so that's the main thing. Uh, I've just finished my A2 intensive course, well, semi-intensive course, like, what is it, six hours a week or something? So I'll finish that on Friday, and I'm going to start B1 uh, as of, well, it's Monday today, so I think as of tomorrow. I'm going to walk to the uh, language school and sort of ask to enrol on the B B1. So I think that's my level now, B1. So, yeah, kind of progressed from that point onwards. Got here until like December or January. So, let's see how much Spanish I can cram into it. At which point, when I return back to England, I'll continue practicing Spanish. But with a paid course in Manchester, I think. That's what I'm promising myself, just to keep it up. Uh, but yeah, so, it's going well. I'm just like, obviously I've not got, a, not got an English teaching job yet, but I'm, I'm verbaling. It's like it's an online platform. So that's what I'm doing so far. The lingo is going, going well as well. So close to uh, launching it now. Just a few little things left. And um, yes, that's my update. Right, just to add to my previous uh, video. Basically, I think there's a lot of power in habits. So especially when learning another language. So tonight at about five o'clock before this tandem exchange, I was like, I really couldn't be bothered coming here. So I thought, nah, let's not go. But then I messaged a group, it's got a group chat that we have, and I was like, is it on tonight? And then they're like, yeah, yeah, it is. And I was like, tempted. So basically I went from not wanting to go, to going. And then the minute I stepped into the cafe and we started chatting in Spanish, I was like, right, let's practice. So from that point onwards, I was like, yes, I'm pleased that I came. So to summarise, I think it's all about getting into a habit to learn a language. So it's about self-discipline. And making sure you actually want to do it because obviously if the reason isn't good enough for you to cause a habit to be formed so after a couple of weeks then it'll fade so i think what matters is your intrinsic motivation as to why you want to learn language or well, i think it applies to anything as long as you can sort of form a habit then it makes it a lot easier and that's why i think living in the country is key or a massive sort of motivator for learning language because then even on the days that you don't want to you have to like when you go to Mercadona and you ask for something of the tail you have to know Spanish so uh, yeah habit is one key element in learning anything and it applies to language learning as well from what I've discovered so yeah